So the Flix video, the Flix video. Right now at this point, I'm fairly sure you guys know how this goes. I practice something for 100 hours, then I show you guys the progression over the course of those 100 hours, and then we finish up with a tutorial. However, with this Flix video, I don't think I can do the same thing. I mean, what I can show you is, here's me messing up a flick, and then here's me getting it. With things like air dribbles, you could see slow progression over a period of time, but with Flix, you just have to change very small things, and it's all sorted. So taking what I've practiced and learnt, for this month's 100 hours video, I'll be going over the 5 flicks I think are most effective and that you should be adding to your offensive arsenal. I'll break them down as best I can and explain why they're beneficial. As always, if you enjoy the content and want to see more, then make sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with me and my weekly uploads. All of my socials are linked in the description if you want to keep up with me there as well. And make sure to vote for which mechanic you want me to dedicate 100 hours to next by clicking the poll in the top right hand corner now. The first of these flicks is very simple but very effective. The diagonal front flip. This is definitely one to start using if you're not currently using it, as it was a flick I scored the most with over the course of the 100 hours. The diagonal front flick generates a lot of power from a very simple setup. You just have to get the ball on top of your car and- wait, 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 wait. Before I start teaching you guys how to perform these flicks, we need to go over something that I learned during the month. Something that was made very apparent to me when I was playing against some of the best ones players in the world, which is the video I made last week, and if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. Now then, when you're going for a flick of any kind, the most important thing I can tell you, and one of the most vital parts of the whole thing, is to make sure you have the ball under control. You might be thinking, what? It's, it's on my car, I'm dribbling the ball, I am the definition of control right now. However, there are often times you think you have complete control, but in reality, the ball is slowly falling off your car and you're having to make multiple slight adjustments to counteract this. This can lead to messing up a flick and giving away possession very easily if you don't learn how to control your car's movement and better your ability to maintain the ball's position on the car. So how do we do that? Well, despite the dribbling challenge maps being an amazing resource, Anytime I mention them, comments from console players get upset that they can't use them, and so we won't include those. However, if you're on PC and you're not using them, you should absolutely start using them right away. What you can do is go into free play and get the ball onto your car whichever way you want, then try to keep it up without boost for as long as you can. Do this for about 10 minutes, then do the same but only using boost for another 10 minutes. This will teach you how much boost can impact the car's movement and how you don't really need to use it as much as you think. It will also train your minute touches to be more accurate, which means you will be making less adjustments, which results in more car control. You can also use the pillars map and dribble around in a figure of eight. So if you don't have control of the ball, don't try and force the flick. You will more often than not completely mess it up and give away possession very easily. Instead, just keep possession and restart. Either take it back to your half or go for a low 50-50. Getting all of that out of the way, back to the first flick, the diagonal front flip flick. Get the ball on top of your car, positioned on top of the windshield, then move the ball slightly to the left or the right. From here, once it is stable, you want to diagonally flip towards the ball. That's it. That's everything. It's one of the easiest flicks to learn and in my opinion much more effective than the standard front flip flick, as it's much less predictable when playing a higher paced game. I recommend this flick for those of you who are just getting into dribbling and flicks in general. This is the one to start with and to start working on implementing into your gameplay. Flick number two is another very simple flick, side flick. The reason I think this flick is one that everyone should be using is because not only is it incredibly easy to set up and pull off, it also allows you to land back on the ground very quickly which makes for a fast recovery time. This leaves you in a much better position than some of the other flicks in cases where the shot gets saved or you miss the goal. So the setup to this one is exactly the same. Get the ball on top of your car, push it to one side, and then once you have control of the ball, flip sideways straight into it. It should be noted that you will want to be moving with some pace, as this will be the thing that drives the ball forward. Your flick and speed will send the ball diagonally toward the direction you choose, but you will notice you are landing much faster than the diagonal flick. This makes the flick very useful for all game modes. You could be in the middle of the field just trying to beat one defender while still maintaining offensive pressure by staying grounded and being faster to the ball due to recovery. Flick number three is a little bit more situational. The third flick is the backflip flick. There are two different ways to utilize this flick. You can use it to shoot while staying in place to maintain positioning, or you can use it to send the ball above a defending player. 
Now, in order to perform the flick, steady the ball on top of your car, move it slightly towards the back end of your car, then simply backflip and the front of the car should scoop the ball and send it upwards. If you want to make it a little bit easier for yourself, you can move it very slightly to one side and then diagonal backflip in that direction. This is going to give it more power and give you a quicker recovery. When using this flick to shoot, in order to get a good amount of speed, you want to be moving with some pace towards the goal beforehand. Then you want to quickly perform the flick to let the momentum carry the ball up and towards the net. If you're just trying to beat an oncoming player, you have a bit more time and you can watch the player to time the flick perfectly. The key to the backflip flick is knowing when to use it. Practice delaying the backflip a little bit and also trying to hit it quickly so that you're ready to take either a quick shot on net or to fake out players that try to challenge you. Now, the fourth flick is where it does get a little bit more challenging. The 45 degree flick is something that if you're a little higher up in the ranks, you should definitely be using as often as you can. The flick generates a lot of power and you can often catch players off guard if they're even slightly out of position. You can also very easily turn this flick into a half flip which gives it even more power and gives you a clean recovery. So to perform the flick, you should have the ball on either the top left or the top right of your car. As an example, let's say top left. You will then want to jump and turn the car 45 degrees to the right. Then you want to do a backwards diagonal left flip. And as soon as you execute the flip, you want to hold your analog stick directly up to steady out your car for the recovery. For this flick, you want to go over everything individually and break it down in parts. This is a little more technical than the first three, but it is one that can improve your offensive pressure immensely. The final flick is the 90 degree flick. This is very similar to the 45 degree flick, but you will need to turn more to the right. To perform this flick, you want to have the ball on the front left of your car, then jump, turn to the right so that you're parallel with the ball, then once again perform the backwards diagonal left flip, but this time while holding air roll. This causes more of the car to make contact with the ball and gives it more power, making the shot much harder to save. This is very useful for when shooting from a distance as you can very easily send the ball towards the net with pace from around the halfway line. You'll have to practice aiming the flicks as I found I would often hit the backboard and get scored on due to bad timing and aiming. I practiced all of these flicks in free play and every now and then I'd go into some 1v1 matches to try them out. No need for custom training, no need for workshops, just free play training for as long as you need and then a little bit more just to be safe. Now, I know some of you will be sitting there saying, Oh my god, I can't believe you left out this flick, or why didn't we get to see this one? And that's because this series is focused on giving you skills that you can take into matches to help you become a greater player. This is why when I get suggestions like ceiling shuffles for 100 hours, while yes, they look cool and they're great to look at, it's not something you should focus on learning if you want to improve. That being said, I will make one exception for this video, and so now I will quickly explain to you the breezy flick. Let me start by saying I am still learning this. I am by no means an expert, and if you have stopped by any of my streams recently, which you should definitely do, twitch.tv slash Hanavik by the way, you will have seen me practicing them every single time I get the chance between matches. But anyway, this is a very brief description of how you perform the breezy flick. First, do everything without the ball. Now the motion starts with holding jump. Yes, make sure you hold it and not tap it. Next, you want to hold either air roll left or right. I use left. And at the same time, push your analog stick the other direction. So you'll be holding jump, then holding air roll left and holding your analog stick towards the right. I tend to do this all at once, but I know a lot of people like to jump first and then go into the turning motion. From here, your car will start to perform a tornado spin. Once you can see the underside of the car, you want to let go of your directional air roll button. This will cause the car to continue turning but without spinning, which will line you up nicely and you should end up with the nose of your car pointing towards the ground. From here, you just want to backflip. Now you add the ball. This is where it gets tricky. Here, you want to have the ball just around the hood of your car and experiment with different speeds. A lot of the time, I found that I was moving way too fast and so I encourage you to start off pretty slow and work your way up. Don't get put off if you can't get it, it does take a lot of time. But once you finally pull one off, it feels pretty good. If you ever feel like you're losing it, go back into practicing without the ball and once you include the ball again, focus only on the car's movement to fully get the muscle memory down. That sums it up for this month's 100 hour video. As always, make sure to vote in the top right hand corner for what you want to see me do next. 
If you ever want to catch me live, head over to twitch.tv slash standovic. Otherwise, if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more, sub to the channel to keep up to date with all of my content. Anyway, that's all from me. I'll see you next time.